if we look, the trapezius doesn't stop, it goes right into the deltoid. The deltoid doesn't stop, it goes right into the lateral intermuscular septum. The lateral intermuscular septum goes right over the medial humeral epicondyle into the extensor group. These are not your kinetic chains. Somebody had a uh, photo of Tittle up here yesterday, I think that was Kim. Um, and Tittle shows you lots of kinetic chains. When I jump, I use my quadriceps in connection with my soleus. That's a kinetic chain. I'm talking about fascial chains. Chains that are connected through the fabric of the body, and these are the kinds of things that we're dissecting, in this case, the superficial back arm line. And what happens when you turn the scalpel sideways is here's where the serratus anterior and the external oblique are meeting on the side of the rib cage. By simply slipping the scalpel underneath, we could create, uh, somebody was talking, um, it was Brian, I believe, about the scapula being so linked into the internal part of the body. What you're looking at here um, is something that stretches from the splenius capitis over here on the skull around through the shoulder, including the scapula, which still has the rotator cuff on it, through the serratus anterior, external oblique. There's your rectus abdominis going diagonally through it over to the internal oblique. And I'm sorry for the people over here, but you know, everybody's been lecturing to the people over here. Nobody's been lecturing to the people over here. So uh, I'm a student of such things. Now, here's an interesting bit. I can take this piece of fascia and I can cut the scapula right off and I still have a piece of connected fascia that you could hang, I don't know, we didn't try it, 10, 15, 20 pounds off. What you're looking at is a piece of fascia that goes from the side of the head here on the left side of the head to the left hip by means of the right rib cage and the right scapula. One piece of interconnected fascia Nobody has ever showed it to you this way, but I don't think it's any the less real for being this way. And now if I turn this over, what I just did was take that piece and flip it. And sorry, I'm going to be over here again. Uh, here is where the serratus anterior ends and where the external oblique begins. Notice how one muscle ends and then the other muscle starts. No. The muscles blend right into each other fascially. They're very strong. You could hang a weight off of this and not break it.